What's up guys? It's your boy Alex here, aka the magician, aka the underdog, aka the first English speaking Heroes 3 streamer who's going to reach 1000 viewers on Twitch, back for another video. So now that I've had a few days to actually rest and recuperate, I decided to do a longer video and this is going to be one of a few videos that I'm going to do next week and the week after that where I will actually do a complete week one demonstration of the playthrough, the strategy, on the biome game until the actual break. So this week I'm going to be doing Dungeon, uh, next week I believe I'm going to do Conflux, and then week after that I'm going to do Necro. And I am not going to be actually discussing the towns themselves as much, because uh, I already did those videos. I will link uh, those videos in the description below. And I'm also not going to talk about the actual restarts portion of the game, where you know, you're know you scouting the map, you're looking for whether or not you want to restart, because uh, I already did that video. I will also post that in the description below. Here, I'm just going to focus purely on the actual gameplay, on the playthrough, and the uh, demonstration of of the entire week one, uh, what you want to be doing, what you want to be focusing on to actually be able to do the break and I'll also do the break as well here. So let's just get into it. Um, one thing I'm going to mention here, so uh, since I'm doing this demonstration against the computer, I could not give myself less gold, uh, but what I am going to do is uh, I'm going to pretend that I only have 5k gold. So I'm not going to go below 5k because with dungeon, I would say, you know, just to make it a little bit more realistic, I would say that uh, a lot of times you're going to be starting with somewhere around 5k gold because dungeon is pretty strong. Of course, unless you're playing against like Conflux or uh, Necro, then you're going to be starting with more gold. But let's just pretend that we're starting with 5k gold just to make this a little bit more realistic so that, you know, in the... Uh, real kind of game scenario you would be uh, focusing on collecting a lot of gold on turn one so that's kind of why I want to do that so that it's more realistic right all right so let's just get into it right away so first thing obviously we're looking at our troglodyte stack uh, we have 78 troglodytes not bad uh, that's you know uh, uh, on the higher end you could get a as low as 60 and as high as maybe like 85 or so so this is not bad now we're looking at our heroes okay we have a decent um, amount of troglodytes here so that's the first thing that you're looking at is if you're gonna be starting with like Laura Lay or somebody like that who's not gonna give you extra troglodytes that's gonna be a bit of a negative and you may want to consider restarting obviously not just because of that but if other factors are so-so, then maybe you want to restart. Or on the other on the other hand, if you get two dungeon heroes and you get uh, you know two stacks of troglodytes, then you know that's a plus, right? Okay, uh, so right away, uh, let's go ahead and get our dark storm so we can scout, right? And let's go ahead and start moving this way, I suppose. All right, um, right away, I think I'm going to pick up some gold. Oh, nice. We see a dragon cave right away, actually. So I'm going to pick up this pile of gold because uh, I do need gold. And this way, we'll also uh, scout the guard for this dragon cave. All right, one more step. Okay, 1599 halflings. Uh, not the greatest since they are ranged, but certainly not that bad. So this is already a huge plus, right? This is already, uh, you know, I'm almost ready. And, and we also do see a hive here, although this guard is not as good. But still, when we have tactics with Shakti and we have a couple of dragons, that's going to be pretty good. And we do have an experimental shop. So this is uh, these are already some really good things. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get some more gold. Okay, well, let's get another hero, continue to scout. Uh, let's go this way now. I'm not going to pick up this pile of gold, I'm just going to continue to scout this uh, now, because we do have a decent amount of gold now, so this should be okay. Alright, we do see a picket. Uh, this one is guarded by Cyclop Kings, which is not great, but again, with dragons, with tactics, it's only 5-9 of them, because there's no other artifacts. That's pretty good. Another Hive, pretty easy guard, so that's good. So, this is pretty much already a plus, right? At this point, I'm pretty sure I already know. There's also a prison, maybe we can get a good hero there. Uh, but yeah, at this point, I pretty much already know that I'm going to say plus, I'm going to play this biome. And my first play is definitely to go for the Dragon Cave. So upgrade my Troglodytes, kill these guys with as few losses of Troglodytes as possible, and then uh, kill the Dragons. 
All right, let's see. Another hero to scout this way then. Actually, you know what? We see some additional gold here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go this way. You see a chest. All right, nice. We got a decent amount of gold. Now we can actually send somebody that way. Come on there. Vial of lifeblood. A little bit more gold. Let's see. Ah. Would have been good if this was gold, actually. But we can still pick this chest up. So that's good. Alright. So, looks like the crossroads. So the break should probably be this way. And then the um, other town will be that way. Okay, well, I think we've scouted a decent amount. We're not going to be able to, like, if I buy another hero and send him this way, we're not going to actually be able to get to, uh, you know, anywhere farther than Monaire. So uh, we don't really need to do that. I would do that if I had a little bit more gold. But right now, like I said, we're not going to go below 5k. Uh, so I need gold for upgrading troglodytes uh, to kill these guys and probably buying one more hero to uh, grab the army from Shakti and speed them up because we're not going to be wasting all of our army on the dragon cave because we're going to take everything with us uh, to the halflings. Maybe they just get scared. Um, and if not, you know, we lose the minimum troglodytes. So, but to the dragon cave, we only take our troglodyte stack plus one stacks. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade our troglodytes. Buy the rest of them. All right, we have 8k left. So, we can buy a few more harpies then as well. 650, yeah, that's just about enough. Okay. Yeah, in this turn, we're not going to be, um, you know, buying the dragon or portaling the dragon, obviously, because we needed to upgrade the troglodytes. Uh, so that's going to be next turn. So we're going to need a lot more gold. Uh, turn two, priority is going to be to collect as much gold as possible again. But right now, let's just go ahead and uh, kill these halflings. All right, uh, this is actually not a terrible loss, but we're going to try to uh, not lose any troglodytes. We can lose everything else or, you know, uh, a lot of the other stuff, but not the troglodytes. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Harpies, these guys, boom, 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 boom. All right, let's go. All right, so not to get shot, um, not to get our troglodyte shot, we're going to wait with them. We'll also wait with the harpies. And the pirates and the nymphs, uh, we can move forward. Because uh, we don't really care about those units as much. So there we go. That's why we wanted to do that. We wanted to bait the shots on them. Uh, now we can move the troglodytes forward. We're going to be taking out that stack. And then we're blocking the other stacks as much as possible. Alright, the harpies, they can attack now. Pirates can shoot. Nymphs might as well attack as well. All right, nice. Okay, now we can take out this stack and that stack. All right, that's fine. These losses are completely fine. Okay, and now, um, see, if I went into the dragon cave like this, I would lose everything else. So, And I don't want to do that. I want to only lose uh, one stacks, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one more hero. And see, we're just at 5k. So what I'm going to do actually to get rid of the 5k is once I build a marketplace, I'll just send it to the blue player, to the computer, so that we have that uh, gold disadvantage. Right now, I'm just going to keep uh, 5k, uh, not going below 5k. Just remember that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab six Harpy 1 stacks and the troglodytes, And that's it. And this should go completely fine. So let's go. Now, for this, uh, you want to use the Fake Breath tech. So, what we want to do is, first of all, we want to draw out uh, the dragon. So, put one of the harpies within range. 
And then this, I, I place these um, units like that to actually protect against morale. So in case the dragon decides to get morale, he's uh, not going to burn our troglodytes like this. So this way he's going to be positioned here or here, so we can hit him with the troglodytes in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Uh, and in that case, we are going to be, uh, in, and then we can do the fake breath. So, let's go. Alright. So, wait. So we don't forget to take retail. Alright, retail. And these guys can wait also. Wait, 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 wait. Now hit. Now put the harpy here. Right, should be fine. Yep. Uh, again, wait. Now I can actually use both of these harpies, position them here, just in case he decides to get morale. Boom. Okay. Um, may not finish him, so just in case we low roll. Just in case we low roll, let's take retail. Okay, we're fine. So that's perfect right there. Only losing one stacks. Uh, we still have our troglodyte stack, and now we can buy dragons. We can portal dragons. Again, not going to buy them because we're um, at our gold limit right now. So let's see. Um, I suppose right now we just need to speed up Shakti and may actually want to take the imp cash uh, for some additional gold. Next turn, that is. Troglodytes, uh, Labyrinth. Actually, Ring of Life. So that's two out of three of the Elixir of Life. So that's something interesting. All right, uh, but right now, that's about all we're going to do. And now we just need to think about what we're going to do next with Shakti. Let's see. We could be going for this Hive with two dragons. That may be the right play. Go for this hive, then go for this hive, and then go for the picket. So that may be what I want to do right now. Or the experimental shop, but we can't really take an experimental shop that's too big. Or we can go for the dwarven treasury just to get some additional gold. So maybe that's... All right, well, either way, I'm going to send Shakti. Actually, let's get him additional knowledge too, because uh, getting Shakti some uh, knowledge is going to be beneficial since he doesn't really get too much by leveling. Okay, so I'm either going to go for the Archmages or the uh, Dwarven Treasury. Actually, the Dwarven Treasury can be done by anybody, really, so we'll see. But yeah, probably uh, the Archmages are going to be done by Shakti, since we have Tactics, and uh, that way we shouldn't really lose anything. All right, but that's it for the first turn. So yeah, at this point, I would definitely say plus. Whoops. Um, because the only bad thing is that we didn't get eight heroes, but hey, we got six heroes, we got uh, a dragon cave without losing any troglodytes, we have two hives in the picket and an experimental shop here, so all in all, this is looking really good. This 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 looks like a really good bomb. And actually, we we see another picket over here too, uh, so that's, that's another picket. So that's even better. All right, let's go. So turn two, uh, like I said, we're collecting gold. We need about 7.5k gold because we want to buy a dragon here. We want to build a portal and buy another dragon. And uh, remember that we're at minus 5k, so this is 4. Okay. So we're at 5.5, so we need another 2k. All right, Monair, I think you're going to go this way. All right, there's some gold. 1K, another 1K, and that will be enough. All right, uh, and we have Dread Knights on break. So that's actually something that is going to be slowable. Uh, so we're basically our goal now is to get as much army as possible. And we see another picket. So actually now I'm thinking pickets um, are the main priority. So we can slow these guys and just shoot them with the Cyclops. But we might as well take the two hives because they're next to the road and they're pretty easy to take. 
But yeah, so now definitely uh, the priority is also going to be Earth Magic for Shakti, getting him as much experience as possible, as quickly as possible, to get Expert Earth Magic as well. So we can slow these guys and then just shoot them with Cyclops. Alright, uh, pick up gold here, and Monair can pick this pile up. Okay, yeah, this picket has a pretty easy guard. Okay, so now we do have uh, 7.5k. Oh, and we actually got Alamar. That's nice, too. Alamar is always a good hero to get as dungeon. Uh, well, as anybody, really, because he has Resurrect, and he also starts with a Scholar skill. So you just need to level his Scholar to Expert level, and then get, uh, let's say, your Shakti or whoever, uh, Advanced Wisdom, and you can teach uh, Resurrect to Shakti, for example. All right, so now... Uh, okay, this guy... See, Darkstorm, I suppose you can just continue. Oh, wow, we see another picket here. Interesting. And another Hive. Nice. Yeah, so th this biome looks pretty, pretty amazing right now. Uh, let me just think about the best way to do this. So right now, I think Shakti is still going to go for this Hive. Then we're probably going to move him out to do this picket because uh, the Cyclop Kings are going to require uh, Shakti's tactics as well. And then I suppose he can do this hive just to get a little bit more experience. The one bad thing is we don't see any Pandora boxes. We don't see a way to actually get Shakti uh, experience quickly. So that's something we're going to need to pay attention to because we are going to need slow. We are going to need uh, mass slow to kill these guys. But anyway, right now, let's say... I can have somebody do that, but maybe... All right, Darkstorn. Well, these hives, uh, this hive and this picket can be done by anybody, really, so I can chain for those. I think still with Shakti, I'm going to go for this hive and then this picket, and then I will chain uh, with somebody else to take these. All right, let's go ahead and get the dragon. Give everything to Shakti. Okay, we don't need this. Um, and then this guy might as well go, hmm, no. Alright, and then we can get one more dragon. So, we need a portal and a dragon, right? Okay, now we're at 7, so we cannot quite get another hero since we're not going below 5k. Um... In that case, I think I'm gonna pick up some additional gold. So that I can get one more hero so that I can actually... What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to have Shakti do this hive, as I said. And then I'm going to have another hero do the Dwarven Treasury so we can get a little bit of additional money. Maybe actually Alamar so that we can level Alamar. So that's that's actually a good idea, I think. Yeah, let's do that. So Ryland over here can get some additional gold. All right. Now, Shakti has the army. Good. So let's go this way. Now let's go ahead and buy Alamar. Okay. Now we can just give that to Shakti. Shakti is going to kill the Archmages, and then he's going to go for the Hive. Let's go. And then Alamar is going to grab the army and he's going to do the Dwarven Treasury. And then Shakti is going to move out here. So next turn he does this picket and this hive. Fourteen troglodytes. Let's see if we can lose less. Should be. Oh man, this terrain is uh, <laughs> screwing us. Okay, maybe we attack. No, can't do it. Yeah, this terrain kind of screwed us actually. So our dragon cannot reach the uh, those archmages. That's okay. We're gonna try. Maybe they don't attack the troglodytes. Let's see.
Okay. Looks like they attacked uh, pirates. Good, good, good. That's fine. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. I <laughs> actually blocked myself here. But that's okay, because we have the uh, dragons there. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a mistake uh, on my part. Uh, blocking my, my troglodytes with the dragons, but that's okay. Only losing... Okay, we're not going to take interference yet, because um, it would be good in a lot of cases, especially if we're fighting against a mage hero, like uh, against Luna or Solmir or something like that. But uh, right now, our priority is to get uh, expert earth magic. Okay, um, let's see. Now we're going to do the hive. Alright, and uh, when you're doing hives with dragons, uh, be careful to not burn yourself. So what you got to do is you got to put um, a slot six, uh, four and five are the ones that can get burnt. So just put one stacks on those. Don't put any important units on those. If you put uh, if you put dragons in slot seven, then slot four and five are the ones that can get burnt. Alright, size one or two. Hopefully it's a size two. Yep, it is. Um, these losses are acceptable, I would say. Probably can't really do any better, but... So, I'll just accept it. Okay, and now, like I said, Shakti is moving this way for that picket, and Alamar. Now, I would like to speed up Shakti here, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, because I feel like I need the dragons on Alamar. If, uh, in case that Dwarven Treasury is big, I don't want to lose anything here, so. Well, let's go. Yeah, it looks like it is big. So, that's exactly why I did that. See, we'll take retail from this stack so that troglodytes don't die, and then we wait, and then wait here, wait here, and this stack can go down here. Okay. Move, move. Uh, let's wait with the dragons. Wait with the wyvern. Finish this stack. Uh, these guys can wait and wait, and this stack can move back. Okay. Should be fine. Let's finish this stack now. Okay, wait. Wait. Take retail. Wait, wait. Ah! Damn it. Oh well. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, a lot of times if you can protect against morale, it's going to be a good thing, but, uh, ooh, got to be careful here. I think we're fine. Okay. Well, losing the 12 troglodytes because of that morale was kind of annoying, but hey, it's okay. Okay, and 5k gold, that's really great for us as well. We have advanced scholar, so we just need expert scholar, and we, and we can teach Shakti uh, resurrect. So I think we're also going to want to have... Um, uh, wisdom on Shakti because that's going to be really beneficial. All right. So let's. Well, we can buy one more hero actually. Oh, you know what? I should have bought one more hero to uh, speed up Shakti. That was a little bit of a mistake here. But right now, I don't think I can do that. Oh, yeah, I can. Maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. I'm gonna buy a hero anyway. Maybe, 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 maybe we can do it. Let's see. 1100 movement left. Mm, yeah, that's not gonna be enough because I have Zyder here, unfortunately. From here. Yeah, just barely not enough. Oh well. 
Oh wow, we see another dragon cave actually. Uh, we may want to scout the hell, what the hell is guarding that. So in that case, actually, let's let's just go ahead and grab the army from Alamar. Leave him a harpy. And let's go kill those orcs. Actually, it's a level uh, four shrine over here, so maybe they're not gonna get scared. Oh, they do. Nice, 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 nice. Huh, iron golems. Um, so you know what? Maybe, yeah, I, I can probably just take that with Gerd next turn. I don't really need. Uh, I don't feel like I need Shakti for this because we do have the dragons and stuff now. Three dragons is gonna help. All right, let's go. So again, we're just collecting gold. Let's go ahead and grab this. Decent shield here. Gold. Oh, wow. And we have another dungeon. Jesus. So we can get another dragon here. <laughs> so this is this is actually turning out to be like an amazing biome. You're not going to get this very often. Okay. Uh, the question is, do I want to have Gerd do this dragon cave? I think so. I think so. Because, uh, honestly, even if we lose Troglodytes, we're going to have three dragons. Uh, we can, we'll be able to do the Picket, the Hive with that. And then we'll have four dragons. And that, you know, at that point, we can pretty much do anything. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I think we're just going to be careful with our troglodytes here. Try not to lose them. Okay. Okay. Wait. And then we can go ahead and attack. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and we're gonna, we have enough heroes here to chain that back to Shakti, so this is completely fine. Uh, the only thing is we need to try not to lose anything here. Definitely not the Wyvern. We're okay losing Troglodytes, not Wyvern though. Oh, nice. He actually moved. Cool. So, wait. Attack. Let's see, Wyvern, Dragons, and Troglodytes. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder, could you actually fake breath with a two hex unit? If I put the dragon there? Hmm, not quite sure. We can try it, though. Really not sure if that's going to work or not, but uh, let's see. Nope, he's attacking the troglodyte. Okay, that's fine. Um, so one more dragon, great. Now these guys need to chain. By the way, we should also check what the hell is in here. Town portal, wow, nice. So actually, wisdom would be either maining Alamar or getting wisdom uh, on Shakti is going to be a, a good idea. But the important thing is getting earth magic for either one of them. Alamar can learn that now, though. Let's see, your island. Can you reach Shakti? Yeah, you can.
Okay, now we're just going for the uh, uh, picket and the hive with Shakti. Probably doing the hive first. And I don't think we need the pirate because that way we're not going to have bad morale. Uh, now let's build Mage Guild. Oh, Solmir, uh, that's also actually good that we have uh, Alamar because we can actually learn uh, Chain Lightning from Solmir as well. Okay, we got Slow, we got Haste, great. Actually, would have been nice if I got Haste because uh, that would help in the picket. But then again, we don't really care about losing our Troglodytes at this point. Uh, the other thing that we do care about, though, is getting this dungeon. Um, so let's bring Annabelle down. And I'll probably... Well, no, I do have Ryland here, so I don't need Alamar that way. So I guess Alamar might as well learn Town Portal now. We need a little bit more experience for him somehow. He could get Spell Power and Knowledge. Maybe he can do the experimental shop in a little while. So, I'll think about that. Alright, let's go ahead and do the hive. Easy. Easy fight, easy game. Small hive, though. That's all right. Uh, I'm not going to fight the Mighty Gorgons, because I could lose uh, some dragons doing that, so let's let's not do that. Uh, let's see, slots three and four. Okay, let's go. Ah, they go for the Troglodytes right away. I don't think we can do any better. Maybe we can. Thirty-six. We lost more. Huh. Okay. Well, there's Earth Magic at least, so that's good. All right. So Shakti definitely looks like our main right now, uh, since he got Earth Magic and Alamar got offered Fire Magic instead. So yeah, we're still planning on getting Alamar experience um, to get Expert Scholar, and then also getting Wisdom for Shakti. And then Alamar can also learn, we can buy Solmir, we can learn Chain Lightning from uh, Solmir with Alamar and teach Chain Lightning and Resurrect to Shakti, which is going to be amazing. Okay, so now we're just going for the picket. And really, the next thing is just experience for Shakti and uh, really grabbing these pickets. So that picket, uh, this picket... And that picket, and I think after that we can go for the break. Oh, I messed up. Uh, I was supposed to make one stacks out of my dragons. That was uh, a little bit of a mistake here. So I guess we're kind of sacrificing troglodytes right now. Okay, not bad. That's fine, I think. Okay, all good. Didn't lose too much. Uh, we we could have lost basically nothing. I just needed to make one stacks out of my dragons. I forgot to do that. Okay, now we're going for the picket. So let's probably grab the scholar to knowledge. That's good. Knowledge for Shakti is good. Uh, small pickets. Would have liked it to be bigger. Uh, we need 
need to get some experience with Alamar somewhere. There's a treasure chest. So I might send Alamar this way, although we already have Ryland here, so why do I need Alamar there? What else can I do with Alamar? Well, you know what, I need to scout that way. So maybe there's something that way, so maybe there's chests and stuff that way. So let's go ahead and learn Town Portal. And then I'll send him this way. Maybe he can do like a picket or something and get the experience that way. Okay, um, yeah, Shakti can go ahead and do the pickets. Right, so um, a lot of times uh, when doing pickets, like if I only had one dragon, I would need to have haste. Uh, I would need to have haste because the wolf raiders have speed set, uh, eight and my wyvern only have a speed seven, right? And you can do it on troglodytes if you have a decent troglodyte stack. Uh, all you need to do is have a faster unit than speed eight and then you would, or, or speed eight or higher. So you get first move and then you haste your stack of either troglodytes or wyvern or cyclopes or something like that. So you can actually reposition them and not get hit by the wolf raiders and take them out with minimal damage. But in this case, since we have three, uh, three dragons, we can actually just uh, take almost everything out with the dragons themselves. And uh, let's see, and probably take little to no damage. 12 troglodytes and one. So we lost all of our one stacks. Now let's try. Uh huh, 8, 10. Yeah, so I think we have to accept it. Since we do not actually one shot the 15 stack, fine, we'll accept it. Okay, we're not getting any other skills because right now we're at a shortage of experience. We don't really see a good way to get a lot of experience. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just keep the skills that we have so that we can get expert earth as quickly as possible. All right, so six Cyclopes here. So the next priority is to grab uh, this town. And then with Shakti, I think we may, um, we may poor man Shakti. Actually, I could have just poor manned him in the picket so that I can actually, I think I can double his mana, buy him a spell book, learn slow, uh, and then move him out to go over here so that I don't have to get my mana replenished again. And just as soon as we get earth magic, we just go for the break. So I think that's a good plan. All right. Okay, so what I wanna do now, I think is uh, I wanna poor man Shakti here and double his mana and send him out to essentially go for the break. And in the meantime, get him as much experience as possible um, so we can actually get expert earth magic. And I think right now, <clears throat> I will probably just send them to kill the sea dogs and pick up these two treasure chests for experience. And we'll also have this vial of lifeblood. Now, you see, I'm guaranteed wisdom on level six and I'm not gonna take it uh, because even though it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be really nice to have wisdom uh, so we can get town portal and we can get resurrect, but I don't think we're gonna do that just yet uh, because it's more important for us to have expert earth magic. And since we don't see a whole lot of experience around here, uh, I think we're gonna probably just prioritize earth magic over uh, getting wisdom and getting these good spells because uh, we're not really gonna make use of those spells like resurrect with two spell power is not really gonna be that useful anyway. So we're gonna focus on expert earth right now. And then after I get that, then we can go and get wisdom and uh, we can learn town portal and resurrect. And that's gonna help us in the center. But for now, our priority is to get expert earth magic so we can slow the break and we can do the break on minimal losses. All right, yes, yeah, so. <clears throat> let's go ahead and collect some more gold here. All right, uh, so I'm probably going to build Mana Vortex here. Now, before that, though, I do want to take this other town. <clears throat> and I want to get one more dragon. 
Oh wow, and we actually see a Cons and a Pandora box here, so... Now I'm actually thinking I may pour Man Shakti here and take the Pandora box and the cons with him. And we also have this experimental shop we could take with him for additional experience. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, because that's going to give us actually the opportunity to get the experience that we need. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now... There is a chance that as I pour Man Shakti, I'm going to overwrite Solmir with that. Uh, but I don't really feel like I have enough gold right now to be able to buy Solmir as well. Because uh, remember, I do have uh, minus 5k here that I still need to give to the computer player. And with poor man in Shakti here, then poor man in him back here, that's 5k. Plus building the portal, plus buying another dragon here. So <clears throat> I think I'm just going to take that chance and... Potentially overwrite Solmir. Alright, yeah, and this Pandora is Unicorn, so... That should be pretty doable with Shakti. So let's go ahead and build a tavern here. And buy him. And in that case, let's go ahead and build a marketplace and uh, transfer that 5k gold so we don't have to think about that anymore. Ah, a little bit more. Okay, and we're gonna buy Shakti back here. Uh, let's get one stacks here. And we're gonna do the box and we're gonna do the cons, right? <clears throat> Let's also speed him up right now. And then Annabelle is going to grab the additional dragon and give him to Shakti next turn. We also have stables here, but it may not be worth it since uh, we're only going to get three days worth out of it. I'll think about that. And then we also need to think about how we're going to chain for these pickets, right? Well, first of all, Monaire... You're also going to scout more. Okay, we see one more picket here. And another one. Wow, this uh, this, this biome is uh, pretty good. Alright, we cannot take this village. So we need to think about how we're also going to chain the army back here to take all of these pickets. I think I'm most likely going to ignore this hive in this picket. Because that's just going to um, require like another three heroes to chain for that. And uh, there's more stuff here. There's four pickets over here. I think if we take that, we're going to have an army that's big enough to uh, kill these guys with mass slow. So a lot of times this is what you have to do when you have a lot of stuff in your biome. Some stuff you are going to want to skip for the sake of tempo. Like if you have a big enough army and one more hive and one more picket doesn't really do that much more, it's probably a good idea to skip it if you're going to spend an entire turn doing that, you know? Because uh, having a turn in the desert over having a turn in your biome is much better. So if you have a good enough army already, then you probably don't really need to do that. All right, let's see. So, dragon... So, Portal, Dragon, Unicorns, Cons, and then probably Poor Man Shakti and double his mana, right? So then we're going to need to bring the army back down. Alright, so Annabelle, boom, boom. Okay, so then Ryland should be as close as possible to grab the army. I think we're also going to need to bring Zyder over here, yep. Yeah. And... <clears throat> okay, and we should position Gerd and Alamar. So I think Alamar is probably going to... Let's see, if we have Gerd in the town here... Zyder can give the army to her. And then she can give the army to... Alamar, who can take this picket. So that's probably what we're going to do. And then afterwards, we're going to chain for these three pickets here with Monair, Gerd, and Alamar. And Shakti is moving out for the break. That seems like probably the best plan that we can come up with. 
Okay. Mm. Let's see. How far does Gerd need to be? 1,200. So maybe we'll position Gerd over here. Yep. Yep, just like that. I think that's right. Okay, well, let's go. All right, Darkstorm over here is a little bit useless at this point, so we can get rid of him if we need to. Annabelle brings a dragon to shock team. 600. Mm hmm. Okay, we don't even need to do that fight. Yeah, and see, now we're not going to take Wisdom. We're not going to take Wisdom because we're prioritizing Earth Magic. If I knew for sure that that box was experienced, then sure, I would have taken Wisdom because I would know that I can level it. But I think we're going to go for, um, yeah, Tactics. That way we can level Earth in two more levels. Okay, it actually is experienced, so if I knew that, and it's 15k, so I could have definitely taken Wisdom. Okay, logistics over sorcery, of course. Now, archery is pretty good, especially since we have, uh, we're have we going to have a lot of pickets. I think we're going to take archery in this case. And now we can take wisdom. Yeah, I think this is fine. I think these skills are pretty good. Uh, we just need advanced wisdom. As soon as we get advanced wisdom, we'll be able to learn uh, town portal and animate, or I mean uh, resurrect. And now, all right, so Annabelle we may need to buy another hero. Okay, well, let's go. <clears throat> Three Wyvern, let's try to do better. Uh, I think we're going to attack this stack and take that out. And then next turn, we're going to take out the Royal stack, probably. Or we can take out the Royal stack right now and then focus on the other stack. Hmm. All right, let's do that. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> that morale hurts. All right, in this case, I think uh, then the dragons focus this stack. Wyvern can hit this stack. They're not going to get hit. Okay, that's actually really good. I think we're fine here. Yep. There we go. Pretty much a perfect fight. <clears throat> so now we're going to need to pour a man on these guys. And Annabelle needs to bring the army down. Alright, we should be able to chain that. We should be able to chain that. So Shakti... Okay. Let's go. I could also take this uh, experimental shot, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now for the sake of tempo. Again, I'm uh, just trying to do things as efficiently as possible. All right, there we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, so we have our army here. <clears throat> now, 
Now we can certainly buy back Shakti and uh, we can also leave an Angel on him to speed him up. This is actually one of the things that I uh, have not been doing quite right. I want to speed up Shakti as much as possible, but in this case, I think it's okay because we still have a really, really quick tempo here. We should still be breaking. I think we should be breaking next turn, actually. We should be breaking 116. So, uh, right now, we need to buy back Shakti and double his mana. So, we need we need gold. Let's see. And we also, Monera, Alamar, and Gerd need to be positioned to farm all of these pickets uh, by the end of next turn. Right, Shakti is still on basic wisdom. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think we're trading all our resources for gold. Yeah, 3.5k is what we need. Uh, spell, oh, we need another 500 to buy a spell book. Almost forgot. <clears throat> So we bought a spell book, now we double mana. <clears throat> yeah, we do have slow, so that's fine. And, 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 now we just need, yeah, I'll leave an angel on him. I will leave an angel on him and then give everything else to Alamar. And then Alamar does that picket, then he goes to do this picket. And then we position, um, so next turn he does that picket, gives the army here. And then Monair does this picket and that picket. And then we'll have Gerd uh, chain from over here to Shakti, who's gonna be over here. Sounds like a plan. All right, so Gerd. I think we need the movement on guard as well. All right, speeding up Shakti, as we said. Let's get rid of the pirates. Right, I guess we gotta get rid of this goblin. All right. So, four dragons, an angel, and the wyvern. I'm not bringing the cyclops. Should be fine. I'll bring additional troglodytes just in case uh, as one stacks. Let's go. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> oh wow, it's a big one. It's a big one. I think we're doing it like that. Okay, perfect. There's our expert scholar. So now we just need the advanced wisdom for Shakti. Okay, and now Alamar is going this way. I think now we're probably... Do we have haste, by the way? We do not. We do not. On Shakti, do we have haste? We do. Hmm. Would have been nice if Alamar had haste, actually. Oh, you know what? I can probably teach it to him with Zyder. Maybe. Does Gerd have haste? No, because he would have learned it. Okay. We've got to try to not lose anything. Uh, like no Cyclopes doing that fight. Well... You know what? We'll just split the dragons. We'll just split the dragons and angels, and we should be okay, I think. Let's go. So, basically, beginning of next turn, we take this picket. Then we give the army... We go through here to give the army to Monair. I think Alamar... Let's see, we do this picket. And then we can get over here, I think, right? So, Monair needs to be somewhere over here. To take that picket and this picket. 
and then Gerd grabs the army over here and gives it to Shakti. Okay, this should work, I think. Let's see, move Shakti out as much as possible and Zyder, just in case we need you as well. So I think this should be fine. So Alamar does that, gives the army to Moner. Let's see. 300. Yeah, this, this should be fine. This should be fine. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, and a bell. I'm not really doing anything. This guy can collect some gold, I suppose. I suppose these guys can chain uh, the additional dragon from there in a couple of turns. All right, so starting with Alamar here. <clears throat> Can't really use anybody else to bring any army unless... I guess I could have used Shakti, but I don't think I'm gonna. So let's just go. Yep. Expert Wisdom, Basic Logistics. Uh, nah, why not? Alright, uh, 15.99, that's fine. Um, we'll just do it like this then. Wow, losing a dragon, what? How? Mm -hmm. I feel like I should lose a dragon here. Hold on. Hmm, maybe I will. Well, we lost the Cyclope. Nah, it's okay. I think that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're fine to just give that to Moner. And the thing is, we're not gonna... That's fine. We'll get out of the way like this, yeah? Yeah. Okay, now Moner should take that and this. <clears throat> Big one. Hmm. Too bad we don't have one stacks, uh, but for the sake of tempo, like if I really, you know, I, I could have saved uh, the Cyclops, I could have not lo lost anything here, and here I might lose something as well, but for the sake of tempo, uh, we're going to try to do it like this. Wow, I... Uh position those Cyclopes kind of badly. Uh, losing four Cyclopes is not great at all there, but tempo. For the sake of tempo, I think that's okay. Can we at least not lose one here? The hell? Yeah, we can. Okay. <clears throat> Earth magic on Monero, nice. 
Well, and there we go. Um, so we've got, what, 20... Where's the other Cyclopes that we had on Gerd, right? So we have 29 Cyclopes with Archery, plus 4 Dragons, 2 Angels, 12 Wyvern. This should be fine for the break. This should be totally fine. And see, I did have 1 stacks here on Gerd, um, so I could have actually saved... Five additional cyclopes so that was uh, that was slightly sloppy I would say um, yeah a little bit sloppy for sure but again uh, it's not that bad because uh, we still have a really good stack I mean uh, 34 cyclopes would have been better of course than 29 but for the sake of tempo we're still able to break on 116 like this uh, if we ended up using any of the heroes to like bring any one stacks or anything like that our chains would not have worked so we would not have been able to uh, Actually, I should have grabbed the Harpies. Yeah, we would not have been able to chain like this. So... Actually, Zyder, there you go. Grab a couple more one stacks. Okay. Uh, 20 movement, damn. Mm -hmm. uh, do I want to get one more hero? Hmm... No, looks like I have to use Shakti's movement. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I probably will. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I will use uh, one, maybe maybe even one more hero to... Uh, to chain this to Shakti. There. I didn't necessarily have to do that. I could have just waited for the break on next turn, but I kind of want to do the break on 116. So, for the sake of that, for the sake of tempo. Alright, angels, dragons. Uh, we're not going to bring the wyvern. We're not going to bring the wyvern so that our morale is not messed up. Alright, well, let's go. And this is how we do it. This should be completely fine. Uh, we do have archery. Uh, we even have an archery artifact. Uh, we do have mass slow. Uh, Twenty nine cyclops. This 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 break should be completely fine. And all we really do is just cover our cyclops. Uh, angels, dragons can finish uh, the stacks and kite. Actually, maybe we bring. Troggle died down. Well, let's go. Uh, of course, we do mass slow. Okay, <clears throat> so here we're just going to be kiting. All right, that's fine. Okay, uh, now we need to re-slow. So remember to do that if your spell power is uh, not that high. Do remember to re-slow. So let's go and take out this stack now. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going 
this way. Uh, now we may actually want to reposition our Cyclopes, because... Actually, wait, we shoot twice. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. There we go. And that's how it's done, guys. So there you have it. 116 break the entire biome game. Um, obviously, we were a bit lucky with the biome, uh, getting that many pickets and... Uh, you know, getting the two dragon caves and the additional dungeon town. So those are all good things, but uh, yeah, generally, I hope that this helped you guys understand kind of the thinking and, you know, just the strategy behind trying to do everything as quickly as possible, what you need to do to be able to break as quickly as possible, uh, and, you know, just how this game can be played uh, when you really focus on doing things as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Um, and as always, guys, uh, for more Heroes 3 content, you can check out my uh, Twitch stream. The link in the, is going to be in the description below. Uh, it's difficult to do, you know, all scenarios. Like, obviously, sometimes you, you're going to get a bad biome. Sometimes you're going to get a break that's going to be uh, not slowable or something that's going to be like Cyclopes or Enchanters uh, that's going to be more difficult. But um, if you guys check out my Twitch stream, you're going to see a lot more of those scenarios because, you know, I play multiple games every day uh, from Thursday to Monday. And basically, I deal with any kind of scenario that I have to face where whether it's, you know, fighting black dragons on break or dealing with bad biomes and things like that. And there always is a way uh, to kind of deal with it. It's just about, uh, you know, you may just be slower. You may not be breaking like 116 or something like that. But generally, you know, you can still manage as long as you have the proper strategy. Okay, so guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Um, I will make uh, another video like this, the week one playthrough with Conflux next, and then after that, Necro. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.